Hello students, today we will see 2.3 digestion in grass eating animals. Have you observed cows, buffaloes and other grass eating animals chewing continuously even when they are not eating? Have you seen that? Ki cows, buffaloes, they eat their mouth chew their mouth. ये नोटिस किया है एक्चुअली दे आर क्विकली स्वैलो द ग्रास एंड स्टोर इट इन अ पार्ट ऑफ द स्टमक कॉल्ड रूमेन व्हाट दे आर डूइंग द स्वैलो द ग्रास एंड स्टोर इन द स्टमक इज कॉल्ड रूमेन पार्ट ऑफ स्टमक कॉल्ड रूमेन एक पार्ट है स्टमक का उसको रूमेन बोलते हैं अब हियर figure 2.9 you can see this rumen is the part in a cow present in the stomach here the food gets partially digested in rumen what is happening the food is partially digested and it is called cud but later the cud returns to the mouth what happens it returns to the mouth in the small lumps and the animal chews it what it is happening food is getting in rumen and that is called curd and later what happens that curd comes towards the mouth and that is what the animals are chewing which animals cows buffaloes they continuously they are chewing and this process is called rumination and these animals are called ruminants now the grass is rich in cellulose grass is always rich in cellulose a type of carbohydrate in ruminants like cattle deer etc bacteria present in rumen helps in digestion of cellulose grass jo eat kiya hai it contains cellulose and in uh, the bacteria is present in rumen stomach mein rumen hai present hai and rumen ke andar what is present bacteria is present which helps the animals to digest the food digestion of cellulose many animals including humans cannot digest cellulose we cannot digest the cellulose right animals like horses rabbit etc have a large sac like structure called sacum uh, between the esophagus and the small intestine figure 2.9 you have to see the cellulose of this food is digested here by the action of certain bacteria which are not present in the humans what is that the animals which are eating grass some uh, sac structure is present between esophagus and the small intestine where this uh, grass which contains cellulose it gets digested with the bacteria which is not present in the human the cellulose of food is digested here by the action of certain bacteria which are not present in humans so far you have learned about animals which possesses the digestive system but there are many other and many small organisms which do not have a mouth and a digestive system then how do they acquire a digested food in the section below you will learn another interesting way of food intake what they are telling few animals are like that which does not have mouth and there is no digestive system still they are there what are they you will see in this 2.4 before that, <clears throat> let us see this diarrhea. Sometimes you may have experienced the food to pass watery stool frequently. This condition is known as diarrhea. It may be caused by an infection, food poisoning or ingestion. It is very common in India, particularly among children. Under severe conditions, it can be fatal. This is because of excessive loss of water and salt from the body. Diarrhea should not be neglected. Even before a doctor is consulted, the patient should be 
given plenty of boiled and cooked water the uh, boiled and cooled water with a pinch of salt and sugar dissolved in it this is called ors that is oral rehydration solution diarrhea means what is that loose motions uh, generally children's causes under severe condition what is happening when loose motions takes place the water and salt deposition is removed you get uh, and it should not be neglected you should consult the doctor and uh, the patient should take boil uh, plenty of boiled and cooled water should be taken what it should be added salt and sugar and that is what doctors are prescribed with that ors in that the same thing is present sugar and water that is ors 2.4 feeding and digestion in ammonia uh, amoeba um, amoeba is a amoeba is a microscopic single celled organism found in pond water where, where this amoeba is present in a pond water amoeba has a cell membrane a cell membrane they are containing an a rounded dense nucleus and many small bubble like uh, vacuoles in figure 2.10 you can see in its cytoplasm is there see this figure nucleus is present pseudophodia is present small particles ingestion for that it is used food vacuoles is there and ingested waste waste is also removing see we will see this our back contains constantly changes its shapes and positions they are not stable they changes their position it pushes out one or more fig figure like projections what is their amoeba ka kaisa hai figure like structure hai called pseudophodia or false feet for movement and capture of food they does not have any shape and it is called pseudophodia amoeba feed on some microorganisms माइक्रोस्कोपिक ऑर्गेनिजम्स यानी बहुत ही स्मॉल ऑर्गेनिजम्स वेन इट सेंसेस फूड इट पुशेस आउट सोडोफोरिया अराउंड द फूड पार्टिकल्स एंड एंगल्स इट वॉट इट डज इट ईट्स द स्मॉल ऑर्गेनिजम्स सेंसेस इट सेंस द स्मॉल ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड पुशेस आउट सोडोफोरिया अराउंड द स्मॉल पार्टिकल्स the food becomes trapped in a food vacuole see food vacuole is shown small holes are there digestive juices are secreted into the food vacuoles they act on a food and break it down into simpler substances digestive juices is secreted from the food vacuole and food is digest break down into small pieces catch gradually the digested food is absorbed the absorbed substances are used for the growth maintenance and multiplications growth it will increase its size maintenance and multiplication they in the double my uh, amoeba doubles itself the undigested residue of the food is excreted outside by the vacuole vacuole means the undigested food is removed the basic forces of process of digestion of food and release of energy in the same in all animals the digestion of food and release of energy in the same in all animals in a later chapter you will learn about the transport of food absorbed by the intestine to the various parts of the body that we will see further this thing you have to understand what is pseudophoria amoeba its structure you should learn what is present in this right okay with this we completed this chapter read what we have learned this summary portion is given and solve the exercise and any doubt you ask me okay thank you